All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Jay Jones on behalf of Cincinnati Soccer Talk here in Modern Malone's in Covington, Kentucky, where we all, well, I'm just hanging out with the pride. We just saw FC Cincinnati take another defeat against San Jose, 1 0. I believe this makes five out of, five out of the six matches, uh, losses. We haven't had a goal in, I think, over 400, 500 minutes in open play. We haven't seen a goal since Darren Maddox put the ball in the back of the net from the penalty kick. I mean, this is tough. I don't know what the solution is to putting, putting the ball in the back of the net first and foremost before even trying to get a win. I mean, we've had different lineups, and rightfully so. I mean, this is the, this is the third game on a three-game road, three road trip. And it's it's tough to have a consistent lineup and make sure you keep your players fit and well fit. But I mean, you come over to the lineup where Amaya is actually getting his first start, and kudos to him because he actually played his heart out for I believe the 60, 70 minutes that he was on the pitch. But outside of that, it didn't seem like there was a lot of consistency in the midfield that we should be seeing in terms of the short passes and being able to connect on those. So a lot of long balls go over the top that didn't really connect to anybody and just end up being goal kicks for San Jose. And the, many, the, the a few chances that we actually had, one was a miraculous save by their keeper, so kudos to him. But it just seemed like we just are just not really just taking the shots that we are we should be having. And I don't I really don't know what the answer is to us not not even just getting to the fundamentals of what we what we saw from the beginning of the season. And yeah, I get it. Like you're gonna you're gonna switch people out, but this we gotta we gotta play. We gotta, something has to change here, I, and I really don't know what it is. I mean, I'm glad that Adi is back in the 18. I know he's still working off the uh, off the the match for us because I know he had that one shot that could if had he gotten over the ball that could have been a what a comeback moment. But outside of that, it just seems like we were just kind of all over the place and still even being a man up we should be able to put at least one or two in the back of the net so honestly I really don't know what the answer is to what is going on out here I'm hoping that we can really figure out figure something down in training this upcoming week because Montreal is coming up they're second in the east as far as this recording goes and they're going to come in look, looking hungry as ever seeing the game tape from FC Cincinnati and seeing that it seems like we're kind of floundering all over the place. We got to put ourselves in a position to win. And I don't know, like I said, if it's a two striker set, it, it may be. Maybe it's consistency in the midfield with uh, Cruz and Bertone actually playing the midfield. Maybe Cruz being in the number 10 spot. I don't know. But something has to figure, something has to change very quickly because the more, the more games we lose, the more we can't even see that last spot in the playoffs. So I'm hoping that we get something going soon. And we got to develop a game plan. If I had to get a man to match somebody, everyone's been saying Ledesma, and honestly, I'm, I had to wholeheartedly agree with him because he's been, he's, as much as, as, much as I make, make it out to be about shots on goal, he did try to put his best effort on the pitch and give out a, give a nice shot or two or three on the goal. And I mean, if they're not blocked, who knows wait how that turns out. So I, I give it to Ledesma. Hopefully we figure out something that's coming up very soon. Montreal's on the way. And come on, FCC. We got to make sure we continue to get back to winning form or at least get something on the board. This has been Jay Jones from 6 Talk, and I'll see you in the next video.